I'm Alice Cassidy. I'm one of the facilitators for today. I'm retired from UBC and there I uh, help direct the campus-wide teaching and learning center. Uh, I taught in science and I was involved in ISW, FDW and the uh, narrative skills workshop for a number of years. Hi everyone. Thank you. My name is Catherine Brillinger and I was privileged to work with Sherry and Alice on this project. I'm from Conestoga College in Kitchener, Ontario and I've been involved in ISW casually for many years and more recently we really started ramping things up at Conestoga pre-pandemic and are so excited to be able to uh, continue uh, offering ISWs into the future. Uh, and my name is Cherie McLeod. I'm currently at British Columbia Institute of Technology in the Learning and Teaching Centre there. Uh, prior to that, I was in Qatar at the College of the North Atlantic for many years. And I see there are quite a few people in this group that I've met in Qatar. Hi, folks. So welcome, everyone. And uh, let's enjoy talking about the ISW. There's lots of things we have to share with you today. So we want to ask you to do this uh, by typing into chat and of course using ISW protocol where we don't name names or do give any identifiers. Um, share one kind of interesting or uh, fun lesson topic that you were part of when you were facilitating or you heard about or you experienced. <laughs> These are great. Thanks, everyone. Please tell us where you are. Just put either a stamp or a mark on the map where you are today. Okay, I'm going to stop it. I think we've got uh, most folks. So thanks. It's nice to see where you're from and who we're reaching today. The main thing that we uh, aim to do in organizing today's 90 minute session is to give you a chance to work with other people and you're going to be going into breakout rooms uh, three times in the 90 minutes and uh, com communicating, sharing ideas through chat and, and polls and other things. So um, the resources that uh, our team put together, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a second. And um, a couple of things at the bottom, we want you to be able to use these resources in your own ISW context and to think about as we go through the session, how you're planning to, uh, as, as you know from registering, you were asked to share um, uh, the resources with the members of your own team and organization. So those are the outcomes for today. So this is one of three virtual work B projects and they came about because the usual face-to-face -face event was sidelined due to COVID-19 and um, so all three projects were done virtually. People were invited to take part in one of the three and um, that's how it started. The, our particular uh, virtual ISW resources uh, work B involved um, four co-leaders, including the three of us who are facilitating, plus Jennifer Fobert, who couldn't be with us today. Um, and then 21 additional people uh, who were on the team who took part. And the 25 of us represent five provinces in Canada and four other countries around the world. So a really international group as we have here today. The way we work together is we brainstorm the kinds of ways we thought we wanted to contribute and what would be useful for ISWs, for virtual ISWs, and um, we shared the information on a Google Drive. We worked in May and June, so it was a pretty short period, and the outcome of that was that we had a total, as you'll see in upcoming uh, aspects of the seminar, a total of 32 unique contributions from this team of 25. And uh, those materials are all shared on um, a YouTube channel, a Padlet, and also on the ISW uh, Facebook page. So you'll see more about that um, coming up. All right, we're going to have um, a poll with two questions. And uh, on this poll, you're welcome to choose multiple selections so that we can see uh, 
what people have been doing. So I'm going to share that poll right now. I see that most people here have experience or their institution is already leading face-to-face ISWs and blended and virtual are, are beginning and that some folks are planning new things for the future. So that's great. We're here to talk about what we can uh, offer from the ISW Workbee that will help you with your plans. So that's great. Okay, I'd like you to please use the annotation tool again and put a mark on this line that indicates how confident you are that you know what's required for an ISW to be considered valid regardless of whether it's face-to-face -face or online. Wow, we've got quite a range here, which is interesting. And it's good we asked this question because I think you'll be very interested in knowing what the minimum requirements are for an ISW. It does need to meet specific um, requirements and have some elements in it that um, are required in order for it to be considered an ISW and for the participants to receive a certificate verifying they've completed an ISW. So we're going to share with you now a document that includes the minimum requirements and we're going to ask you to, it's a short document, read it quickly If you could please, using the annotation tool, again, how confident are you now that you understand what's required for your ISW to be valid, regardless of the format? And there were a qu couple of questions I noticed in the chat. Regardless of the format, the outcomes are the same. So the challenge is, or I, maybe the fun thing is to figure out how you will reach those learning outcomes using the format that you've selected or the format that you're going to need to use. I see there's lots of people who've moved up to the confidence end of the scale, so that's great. Thanks. That. We wanted to be able to share all of the materials in a couple of ways that was that were easy for everyone to uh, view and use. And so we created a, a YouTube channel called ISW Video Resources, and it's there on your screen right now. Um, right now, uh, we've clicked on playlists so that you can see that there are three different types of resources on the YouTube channel. First of all, we have demo mini lessons and there's my smiling face with my hand up. Um, and when, you, uh, when we go into the breakout room, you can, if you clicked on that, you can see a number of 10 minute uh, demo lessons. Um, they are also recorded with uh, participation. The second group are these 30 second, sometimes give or take 10 seconds, ISW testimonials. We asked people uh, on our team to share uh, something about what what made the ISW valuable for them or how they felt about it. And so those are very brief. Those are 
as I said, about 30 seconds long. And they're, um, they're really neat. Uh, and I think all of these are closed captioned as well. The third and final uh, set of um, videos are called ISW Topics. These are not mini lessons, but they're, uh, many of them are done using uh, BOPS and other sort of mini lesson techniques. Some people used uh, PowerPoint or other kinds of, uh, and, and animation, and uh, they were meant to be support topics that people could use in an ISW. For example, if you were going to introduce um, interactive participation, there might be a, a, a short video on that. And those range anywhere from, I think they, they tend to be kind of five, six, seven, eight, some are maybe 10 minutes long. And there's a couple of those where uh, the people who led them and uh, we uploaded, they were actually being quite metacognitive. They were sharing, oh, okay, here, now I'm gonna switch to this screen. And so I thought it was quite interesting, some of those where, um, you can actually see how they're thinking and how they're using Zoom in many cases or Facebook uh, to, to record their material. And so um, that's a, a brief overview of the YouTube channel. You can look at it a lot more in detail later on. What we're gonna ask you to do now, bef uh, we're gonna put you back in, I believe, the same breakout rooms as before. And what we want you to do is to, um, uh, have your camera and microphone um, muted or turned off and choose one or two of those uh, video resources and watch it. Listen, watch it. As I said, they're anywhere from 30 seconds to 10 minutes long. And then just take a, a, a you know, well, I, I wouldn't recommend watching the whole 10 minute mini lesson because we only have 10 minutes for the whole breakout room. So watch a, watch a chunk of something and then come back to the group and share ideas on how you think the value of um, that material that you looked at would be in uh, in the ISW context. <clears throat> Next we're going to take a look at a collection of tools that all the folks in the ISW work be gathered. So these are all on the web and you can use them at any time. The YouTube videos are there as well. So if you wanted a one-stop shop, then this page might be a good place to go. The minimum requirements are there. And in addition to that, there are additional materials and resources that people offered. Um, for example, their lesson plans, sample lesson plans, uh, some topics, icebreakers, tips for teaching, a little bit about virtual meetings and conferencing, some tips and techniques, learning management systems. If you're at a big institution, you probably have one you're required to use, but if not, you might want to choose one to use for the additional materials aside from your synchronous meetings. How are you going to collect your materials? So I'm just going to do a quick screen share and show you how to get around inside this tool. Then your job is to go take a look at something, anything at all that interests you inside the tool and to share what you think the value might be with the other folks in your next breakout room. So let me just show you what uh, this looks like. So the toolkit was built. Everybody seeing that? I hope. The toolkit was built in a free tool called Padlet. And you can scroll to the left and right in this tool and one thing I want to bring to your attention is that inside a column you can scroll up and down using the grab bar. So that's just how you get around inside this tool. It, it's really just a collection of material for you to take a look at. I'm going to
All right, we'll give you one more minute if you can pop back and, and have a look at what's in the chat and you can see all the wonderful ideas here on the whiteboard. And then I'm going to stop sharing the screen and pass things over to Alice uh, to help wrap up the session. And I hope you had wonderful times in your breakout rooms, uh, meeting with colleagues from all over the world. Okay, we have over 50 suggestions in the chat. So if you haven't scanned up and down there, it's quite an amazing collection. Thank you. Um, I think we, we have uh, one more slide to... Um, to wrap up. Thank you. Thank you for making the time to take part and for your contributions in the three breakout rooms and on chat and the annotation tools, the whiteboard, the polls, everything. Uh, it's, um, <clears throat> it's been great to see familiar faces and names and uh, new, new folks. And um, it's, I can't believe how fast it's gone by. Um, we, uh, the next session is November 18th, and you'll receive details about that later from the executive. November 18th session will focus on using the materials uh, that we've shared with you today and that are available to you to look at later to um, plan how you'll actually use them in your virtual or blended ISW. And so that's November 18th. And you'll receive messages from the executive on that. Um, Catherine, Sheree, Jan, is there anything else we would like to share with people? Just that it's wonderful to see everyone in community here uh, focused on keeping ISW going in a virtual world. So thank you so much for joining. Yeah, I would reiterate that. It's been a great experience working with uh, the team and it's nice to see everybody else so interested in keeping the ISW alive and well. So thanks for joining us today.